What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom and in this video we are going to take a deep comparison between the Mediatek Dimensity 1200 versus the Snapdragon 870. Now these are the flagship processors uh, by the both of these brands so if you haven't subscribed to our channel then give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to Tech Phantom so you never miss an update from us. So now that you have done that, let's get started. So now starting off with the launch date, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 was launched in December 2020 whereas the Mediatek Dimensity is the Neo one launched in January 2021. Now next if we talk about the CPU architecture then the both of these processors are octa-core but the 870 is a Cryo 585 and the Dimensity is based on the ARM structure. Now if we talk about the CPU cores which are there into the processor then the Qualcomm has a one core of power core of 3.2 GHz Cortex A77, three cores of 2.42 GHz Cortex A77 and four cores of basic usage of 1.8 GHz at Cortex A55. Whereas the Mediatek has a different approach a bit which has a one core of 3 MHz which is of Cortex A78, 3 cores of 2.6 GHz Cortex A78 and 4 cores of 2 GHz processor. On the process fabrication which is the size of the processor, the Snapdragon has an 8 7 nanometer processor whereas the Mediatek is a 6 nanometer processor which means that Mediatek will be more power efficient in terms of the usage. On the GPU side which is for the gaming and hardcore uh, intense usage than the Snapdragon has an Adreno 650 whereas the Mediatek has a Mali G77 MC9 GPU. Now if we talk about the machine learning and the AI then both of these have a machine learning with the Snapdragon having a hexagon 698 whereas the Mediatek has an APU 3.0. On the maximum RAM support which both of these processors can support is up to 16GB of RAM with 2750MHz of frequency LPDDR5 RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 whereas the 16GB of 4266MHz LPDDR4X RAM. On the display support with the maximum display resolution which they can support with a high refresh rate then the Qualcomm has a better cut over here with the 4K at 60fps, QHD plus at 144, HDR10 and HDR10 plus content support. Whereas the Mediatek Dimensity 1200 has up to full HD plus at 168Hz and QHD plus display at 90Hz of frequency. On the camera module which they both can support of a maximum camera resolution is of uh, in the media Qualcomm has a a bit different over here in the dual camera with a single camera supporting both of these processors with the 200 megapixel as its main sensor and the secondary camera with 25 megapixel dual camera in Qualcomm whereas the 32 plus 25 megapixel of dual camera. Now if we talk about the video compatibility the maximum video quad capture quality which they can con uh, capture is 8k at 30 fps which goes down to 720p at 960 fps in Snapdragon whereas the 4k at 30 fps and 720p at 6 960 fps in the mediatek dimensity on the bluetooth the qualcomm supports bluetooth 5.0 whereas the mediatek dimensity 1200 also supports bluetooth 5.0 on the 5g modem both of these chipsets are 5g and the qualcomm supports a snapdragon x55 whereas the mediatek dimensity has a different approach on the wi-fi support now the qualcomm has a wi-fi 6 and also the Mediatek Dimensity also has a Wi-Fi 6 support. On the quick charging or the fast charging which we say then the Qualcomm has a quick charging 4 plus supported into its system whereas the Mediatek has its Pump Express. Now ending up these with the Antutu and the Geekbench scores then the Qualcomm has a 4% higher scores of 6,55,000 whereas the Mediatek Dimensity has a 6 lakh 13,000 scores whereas the on the Geekbench scores again the Qualcomm outperforms the Mediatek Dimensity 1200U with a single core performance boosting up to 1,553 whereas the multi-core at 3,500 whereas on the Mediatek it's the single core at 922 and multi-core at 3,200 
Now, in my opinion, I feel that the MediaTek has gone right in some directions with the RAM support. Uh, it as it has a higher mega frequency, megahertz frequency into the RAM support. But the overall, the Snapdragon has outperformed the MediaTek Dimensity 1200U. So, what do you think? Which processor uh, are you gonna affect while buying the phone? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the very next one. Thanks for watching.